Yo guys, what is going on? It's your boy Fetch here, back with a brand new YouTube video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best NVIDIA control panel settings for Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 8. Now, I can in fact ensure you that these settings are going to really increase your FPS. So, you know, if you go ahead to enjoy this video, or just for me helping you out, the least you can do for me is drop a like, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Don't forget to enter the two giveaways I'm currently hosting. I'm giving away an Echo 3061 and also a Razer Huntsman keyboard. So, if you want to enter that, links will be in the description. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay, so getting straight into this, I'm over on my desktop right now, gonna whip up my NVIDIA control panel. To access it, all you have to do is right click your desktop and it should come up here. If it doesn't, you can go down to your display tray, you may see it here instead, you can right click and click onto NVIDIA control panel. If it's also not there, you basically don't have it open at all, so you just want to simply search up NVIDIA control panel in your search bar and you will find it. And if you still don't have it and you 100% have an NVIDIA graphics card, you'll need to search up store and download it from the Microsoft store. But assuming you've now got your NVIDIA control panel open you want to start off with adjust image settings with preview in the 3d settings tab right here what we're going to do is first of all we're going to select this bottom one here use my preference emphasizing and we're going to drag the slider all the way down to performance after we do that we're going to tab back up to use the advanced 3d image settings and then we're going to press apply now once you've done that we're going to go to manage 3d settings and this is where we do the gut stuff so first of all i'm going to show you some system-wide optimizations so this right here these are your global settings and these will affect your entire pc so basically boosting your fps in majority of games including Fortnite. So you can just pause the video and quickly copy these but image sharpening I have it turned off and scaling is disabled. So select off and make sure this is unticked here. Ambient inclusion off all of these are off right here you can clearly see. I have CUDA GPUs on all. DSR factors make sure that's off. Low latency mode have this off. I know a lot of people still don't know this but having it turned on for this season of Fortnite is just no longer beneficial and having it on ultra is extremely bad because that will give you more input lag. So yeah it basically does the exact opposite of what it's meant to. So for Fortnite have this turned off max frame rate turn us off you don't want to be capping your frames multi frame sampled aa off you can just see i have my rendering gpu just set this right here to your graphics card so mine is a 3070 power management of course have this on preferred maximum performance that's obviously going to prioritize performance and fps preferred refresh rate make sure it's on the highest available so you get the most out of your monitor shader cache have this turned on texture filtering on all of these this is on allow high performance on and threaders optimization as you can see i have on now this is very much subjective if your pc has a good enough cpu for multi-thread rendering you should have this turned on to check just simply go to your task manager go to performance click onto your cpu and look at cores down here if you have four or more cores on your cpu you want to have this turned on and yeah the rest of this is all turned off virtual reality pre rendered frames is on one i really don't know what that is but yeah trust me put it on one and now once you've done that press apply just to make sure it saves and now go over to program settings what you want to do is select fortnite so right here you can see i've got it selected it will say fortnite client dash win 64 dash shipping dot exe make sure it's this one you want to press add right here then what you want to do is basically ensure all of these settings here are the same as mine now for the most part all you're doing is using your global settings here so you literally select the option use global setting but you'll also find vertical sync in here which is vsync make sure this is turned off unless you have a 60 hertz monitor and want to give it a try for you guys with 60 hertz it may make your game feel a little bit smoother but if you have high refresh rates it's going to give you input lag and lower fps and yeah now you've done in here that's basically the most of it you want to go down to configure surround physics this really doesn't mean too much but i would just select your gpu here as i've just done now in the display tab go to change resolution first of all you want to make sure you have your native resolution selected so it's probably 1920 by 1080 make sure your refresh rate is set to the highest minus 240 hertz and also ensure you're using the default color settings now moving down to adjust desktop size and position right here you want your scaling mode set to full screen mine's only on no scaling because i have a dual pc setup so it works perfectly perfectly for streaming this monitor to my other PC but for you you want it on full screen and you want to perform scaling on your display now some of you won't have display in here and you will only have GPU that's completely fine it just means your monitor is a little outdated and doesn't have a display driver but in that case don't worry about it literally select GPU the only reason you want to select display if you do have the option is because it will give you lower input lag and better one-to-one -one response time to your game and yeah that is basically it another thing I actually didn't just mention you could come up here to desktop and tick enable developer settings here It'll open up this little tab you want to go to manage gpu performance counters and just select allow access to all gpu performance counters this will just make sure you're getting the most out of your graphics card and yeah guys with that all being said i think that's going to do it for this video i hope you guys did enjoy if this helped in any way shape or form make sure to drop a like subscribe you know the drill i hope you all have an amazing day it's been your boy fetch and yeah peace